The leg bone's connected to the hip bone. Hip bone's connected to my wristwatch. If you know that, Class, welcome back to today's lesson on modular origami. Today we're going to be getting into the build phase on how to take just a few of those little triangular football pieces and building them into a mammoth structure. Hey class, Mr. G here today. Welcome back to class. We're going to be getting into the modular origami, the build phase today, and how to put these pieces together. So let's dive into some of those details. All right, first things first, paper. I'm using simple copy paper. Why? Because it's easy. And most of this stuff is a simple way. It's not super heavy. So when you fold it, it works really well. Now, most of us also have old notebooks that we have around the house. If you want to use that paper, it works the same. Why? Because the measurements are practically the same as well. Using it. So when I'm folding one sheet, I'm folding it into eight different pieces. Of those eight, you're just going to keep folding. Now, when I'm telling my students on the folding method, Fold it in half, open it up, fold in half lengthwise, in half, and then into the middle. And then back out. So you can see that you have eight separate pieces. The reason I'm telling them to fold it individually like that is because as you're folding paper, paper starts to get thick as it starts folding. So as I'm folding over, I'm now instead of having two sheets together, I'm having four sheets together. And that does change when you start adding all these folds together, your folds are no longer gonna be centered on the line of the paper. So you're not getting that perfect, everything is equidistant from each other. You're gonna have a little bit of discrepancy, a little bit of difference as you're folding and stacking that paper together. So single fold, take the extra step, make it right. Once you got that done, then you can go ahead and cut apart your pieces and start building your modular origami pieces. Now, again, like I said, like four or 500 pieces to make a vase. And we're going to go a little tall in this. That's going to be about 500 pieces. And you're going to need, I can get eight pieces from one sheet of copy paper. So I'm going to need, I, I can't do it in my head. I'm going to use my calculator. Let's see, we're going to need 500 pieces. 500 pieces and we're going to divide that by eight pieces per sheet i'm going to need 62 and a half sheets of paper that's a lot of paper so get a ream of paper to build your pieces and again when we're building these we're not going to be building these um we're, as we're building these pieces up we're using those lego pieces i'm not gluing these together right now i'm going to be building multiple shapes but now let's talk about finishing these pieces with a little bit of color. Now for me, I've got these nice pearly white pieces and I want to add a little bit of color to them. Best recommendations that I've got are you can color your paper first. Watercolor also look, works great. A, uh, a thin watercolor design on this works wonders. Now for me, I'm going to do a sealant and color at the end to finish off my piece where I'm going to take this spray paint it and use, let the spray paint dry and become tacky inside of all those little nooks and crannies. That's going to seal up my piece. One and done is kind of how, how I'm going to be working on mine. Again, I'm telling my kids, I like to do like a sci-fi pottery kind of thing anyways. So if you've uh, seen previous videos of some of my ceramics work, that's kind of my thing. That's my style. So dress these things up, make something cool and, uh, and tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see other people's work.
All right, so I definitely wanted you guys to see kind of the final product, like the uh, whole sci-fi essence of it. That's kind of my thing. I uh, just got to glue this base piece together, and I think, uh, I think I'm going to call it finished. What do you guys think? Um, so, just set that to the side. So I hope that today's lesson on modular origami was insightful and helpful for you guys. As always, we got to take care of that homework real quick, which is don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all the various platforms. Don't forget to uh, get that message out there as many of our students as possible. If you have any guys, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, don't forget to raise your hand down in the comments below. Happy to answer those questions from my classmates. As always, I will see you guys next class. Uh, stay tuned. I think I've got a history on uh, modular origami coming up, so stay tuned for that. Again, I will see you guys next class as always. Until then, later guys.